Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. Free pick and college baskets coming up on this report. A first quick note, if you've yet to become a member, DocSports.com, click on the link below the video in the description box and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, just click on the link below the video. Real quick recap, then we'll get into not only our free pick, but what's going on for us on Wednesday. Last night I had a rare occurrence. I had three plays uh, that rated five stars apiece because of power ratings, lines, situations, all that stuff. Unfortunately, the swing game was Michigan State. We end up one and two, and I'm watching the games at a book with a couple of guys. We all had Michigan State. Uh, most guys laid two, couple of one and a half, couple of got it late and got two and a half. Uh, but the bottom line was is that they're laying points, and they're up 37-20 on the road against Illinois. They're coming off the three-game losing streak, and it looks like a patented Tom Izzo butt-kicking of the opponent when Michigan State had been playing not well enough to win over the previous couple of games. So they're up big, 17. They're up double digits well into the second half, and then everything falls apart. They start committing personal fouls every other time down the court. They make 7 of 14 free throws. That was it for them on the game. Illinois made 20 of 25. Michigan State finds a way to win by one. Does us no good. The ticket goes in the garbage. Uh, so instead of a nice two and one day which is what we were looking for and looking at we end up one and two with those five star plays so tough loss we've had a couple of those as of late but we did sweep Sunday Monday college basketball and we'll look to get right back on track on a Wednesday and I've got a couple of big games that I like seven star play tops my card on a Wednesday seven star college basketball play part of a two and oh college basketball card for Wednesday you know how much it takes to get me to have a seven star play in college baskets NBA six-star underdog on Wednesday night. Don't miss out on that either. A nice six-star play in the NBA as we look to uh, have a big night on Wednesday night. And, uh, of course, the All-Star break coming. Real quick note, I'm only going to have this one video tonight. Usually on a Wednesday, we'll do at least one college and at least one NBA. Uh, but there's just so much going on, on NBA, in the NBA right now as teams get ready for the All-Star break that we like one play. We like it quite a bit, a six-star. It'll be available at DocSports.com at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I was going to give a free pick video in the NBA on the Knicks and you know listen if you like them check into it maybe they still win but there's a flu bug going around that locker room uh, they're in a good spot against Washington but they've got like three or four guys that are being affected by the flu so we just decided to pass no reason to jump on a weak team like the Knicks even though we like the spot they're playing another weak team uh, with Washington coming to town uh, but with that flu bug going around just no reason to chance it but so we're going to have one pick it'll be college basketball and let's get to it it's the clash in the Big 12 between Iowa State and Oklahoma they're going to lay some up in Norman, Oklahoma laying 10 and a half right now as I cut this video and I'm recommending a play on the underdog Iowa State Cyclones. I know the Sooners have a little revenge. They lost earlier this year 81-68 in Ames, Iowa. And maybe that revenge will get them some extra motivation at the start of this game and help them to a straight up victory but I think they're laying a few too many points here. First of all, if you believe in sandwich spots, this is a pretty big sandwich spot for the Sooners. Now they're off the big win, the intense battle, the well played win over West Virginia and they've got Kansas up next but it's been more than that check out their schedule in february the open the month with their chief rival oklahoma state then they've got an intense game against texas tech then they got the win over west virginia game up next kansas after that it's baylor this is one spot where they could probably win the game by six or seven points and it would be a situation where they just weren't quite there enough with their a game to get over that double digit number of ten and a half that's what we think is going to happen and but besides that i mean the Sooners and cyclones are pretty even in conference statistics i mean you look at their offenses they both average about 66 points per game uh they're both not too hot on the boards but yet iowa state's a little bit better than the oklahoma Sooners on the glass in conference play and then you've got oklahoma who's only covered three of the last 11 home games uh, they've only uh, they've lost five in a row against the spread against teams with a losing record because sometimes the Sooners are a tad overvalued I think that's what the issue is here they're just a little bit overvalued so a recommendation on Iowa State plus the double digits over Oklahoma again looking at all the books in front of me I see Iowa State getting 10 and a half just about everywhere all right listen a real quick programming note I'll likely be back here early Wednesday night, like maybe even by like, you know, 8 or 9 p.m. Pacific time, if not earlier. Uh, Got to get the videos done a little bit early. We start handicapping the games anyway early. Usually, as soon as the lines come out, I've already got the games handicapped. I just got to wait for the point spread, so that'll be no problem. So start checking back if you're looking forward around 8 p.m. Pacific time on Wednesday night for Thursday's card. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column 
right back here late Wednesday night with Thursday's card.